So yesterday I traveled, I don't know where, very far away to check out Prey Dogs UEVR injector mod. And I went hands on for the first time and I've got to say I came away completely mind blown. This is a fantastic thing for PC VR users. In this video you're going to see Gravel, um, which to be honest looked like a completely native virtual reality racing game. Robocop played with 3 off. And again, as I said, you could map it to 6th off. Then uh, Returnal, and you're going to see how we change the camera in real time to basically make it a first-person game. And there's another game, which is like an indie first-person shooter called Ill Will. Uh, and that's where you'll see the mapping of basically 3 off to 6th off. This really does change everything for VR. It's absolutely incredible. It's going to cost me a hell of a lot of money because now I've got to buy loads more games that aren't VR for my Steam library. But as a passion project, which is what this is, by the Prey Dog team is um, is something else. Like it's really incredible. And I, as someone who has used Vorpex, I've done tons of mods over the channel. I know the channel's not big, so thank you for liking this video. And if you enjoy VR content, please subscribe. Um, but I've played all of Luke Ross's mods, Alien Isolation Mother mod. Like I've, I've done loads of mods on this channel, and I really do enjoy them because if they're done well. They can be a really great experience. And what I like most about this software is it's completely customizable. Once you get used to being able to customize this engine and you can make these games how you want them, it's absolutely incredible. It's kind of left me speechless. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it adds some hype. Uh, the release is coming soon. So yeah, enjoy. Cool, ready, I need to reset that, that's all. Yeah, so to reset, whenever you start a new VR game, just press both sticks in. That's the menu, hold right trigger, yeah. And then press X, Y, and B. And what? So X, Y, and B. What? Like that? Yeah. And what that does, it resets your standing height, resets yeah. your view, and just like resets everything. So that's a good thing to start when you just. Man, this is absolutely incredible. Like, it's I can't. Close to native, but if not. And oh, this, is synced, this is synced, by the way. Synced stereo. Yeah. So this isn't native stereo yet. It will be like that. It's a it's a little bit gobsmacking, like... I couldn't tell the difference, I don't know. No, you can't, no, that's the, I can't. You were playing the VR Yeah. Yeah, but the good thing is, with these games, they didn't have the safety and the constraints that VR games have. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, people... We've tested about 600 things, and even out of my library, doing stuff like this, people could play that for five years. Yeah. Without even new stuff. This is really comfy as well, like... Like, and we've done like colony sims, like RTS games, uh, yeah, all kinds of things. Because everyone's like, what have you been doing for the entire year, right? Why don't you just release it? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> Chris, what have you been doing for the entire year with yourself, <laughs> man? So, like, Unreal Engine 4, I mean, you've got like 20 versions of Unreal Engine. Um, so, it's kind of making like 20 Can universal you know. mods, they're all different, and like making sure that all of those. The basic features and ejection, playing, fine, no crashing, um, it hooks quickly as well. So we've really got the speed down. So why, why have you done this though? Because it's such a massive undertaking. You're not probably going to make any money on this year. So the, the way it started is, because it's like a white hat hacker dude. And he had a tool that he uses to analyze like software for uh, security purposes. He's like, oh, we needed to like, analyze Unreal when you code this. He, did, he wrote an article about it on this blog about the first engineer, and he's like, oh, we'll just use that and show that you can do it in Unreal. And he was a game where he plays like a lot of tech. It was mainly Elliot's, like Brian Pace, the guy that he was like, oh, that would be cool. Um, mm -hmm. And it's just been a cycle of a chat. It's been very like. It's kind of like a passion project, you know, you roll. Yeah, like Romero and Carmack in a, in a group were just like, this is, and the reason why I'm doing this is that I want to have for Christmas. I get Christmas every year. <laughs> like I don't do it Christmas day. Yeah, I want to have a day off. You get a video that ready. Would be a fantastic thing for the community to have it. Uh, and then quality of life improvements, like any project, will come. So, so last week, because I was like, we need this for Christmas, we split all the options to a basic and advanced mode. So the default is the very basic injection, camera controls, primary loads, labor free load control, slides, that's it. And then you have to tick a box to start accessing like um, C bars, which you use to turn off by hand. Let's get you in another game. Okay. Yeah. Do you want sound enough motion? Oh, easy. What do you want? Robocop? Yes. Um, the D pad is you touch the right thumb rest and then left stick. 
Touch the right thumb rest. So you, so you do your, your rest, your bum's like on the, on this thing here. Oh, okay. And then use the left stick. That's a D pad. <laughs> okay. So let's play. I'll, I'll do a start, I'll do a, a new game. So this is native stereo. Uh, all max settings, it's got lumen, ray tracing, reflections. I think freed off is on, freed off motion from last time. That's, yeah, that, that looks... That's the difference, isn't it? When you see these games, the detail. Mm. Fit that in the Vortex, right? You don't get. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate Vortex. <laughs> you should know by now. It isn't it? The attention to detail that somebody actually yeah. thought, oh, I better render this coat can. Oh, it's a shine spot. I've posted a bit of the ascent. I think it's, it's the budgets they have, isn't it? And, and the size of the teams. That amount of detail when playing the flats. So I was playing for the first time on the Resident Evil 7 on the PC, but with the armor. And seeing all that detail that they put in, it's like... Yeah, you don't even know it's Yeah, exactly. So what happens with, um, like, for example, I always use um, head-based tracking. Oh, yeah. So you, can, you can pick that as an option if you want. Okay. I do head aiming, but uh, I don't know. I think free dots are better. Yeah, 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 I know. Because yeah. I'm having a free look. Right, okay. <laughs> that's mental. So that's freed off controls, and this works basically in every game, even third person ones. Well, I know disrespect to Luke Ross and stuff. When I play some of his mods, I don't piss off. I don't like the um, the way the weapons can sit so centre. Yeah, yeah. And it just they just flicker. Well, like Cyberpunk is brilliant to walk around in, but terrible to play for me. Yeah. It's, uh showcase of the six stuff controls is like a very small easy game shooter. So we've like, got even inspired to the third person game. Oh. I'm going with that the gun probably will be the same thing. So if I attach the controller to the pulse rifle to a shotgun, it like overlaps. <laughs> so you can build out with just the pulse rifle, which is pretty fun. Yeah, that's pretty really, really neat. Nice. And even just like all over the shot, like if we play return you can play with these freed off motion controls. Rick, you got Returnal? Yeah, yeah, you got Returnal. Oh. We got Sack Boys on. <laughs> what? I mean, Returnal, return. absolutely. Is that a punch? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. You do return? That was beautiful. You already Returnal? Yeah. Third person game, it moves the camera like crazy. And that's really uncomfortable. Yeah. So, I go to Object Hook. Common objects, acknowledge porn, attach camera to relative, and then I'm kind of like first person. So that's pretty easy to add first, first person to any game. You open up the menu, right trigger, and then you just move the sticks to move to a more comfy place. Like so. And now, the freed off controls. So can I easily move this camera backwards? Yeah, yeah, so if you want to move it back, if yeah. you're comfortable, press both move. sticks in, yeah. then hold right trigger, yeah. and then move the sticks around, and you fly around. Basically. So I don't, don't want to click anything. No, so hold the right trigger down, and then move the sticks. So you see how the aim is now freed off, like a Wiimote, kind of. There's a bit of camera movement, and I think there's a few more settings you can disable that, but this is, what, three seconds of yeah. gamepad, only UI. And as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you haven't got your sword yet. Oh, yeah, I've got the sword yet. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> um, he, he does, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just, uh, he's got that little bit of um, aliasing and stuff. It, yeah. What's the word? Like, is it all jittery? Jittery, yeah. To be fair, this is max settings. Yeah, that's, that's all right. So what range is it running on? It's at 4090, 7950X. Okay. 64GB of RAM. But it looks absolutely incredible. I feel like I've got kind of used to it, so I do push it more than I should. So could I um, attach it to a head, like you said? Yeah, yeah, so um, if I put right it. trigger, X, Y, uh, and B should load you back and like reset your position, I think. Uh, I might X, Y, B. Yeah. yeah, and then go to U object hook. So oh, sorry. just uh, it's like a pointer. So the bottom left there's a pane. U object hook. Yeah. And click A. Oh, okay. A. And then detach because I already attached it. And yeah. then attach again. Attach to uh, Do do yeah, just do one of them. All good. 
So now we're kind of... I'm in that butt. You're in that <laughs> butt, but you can do the right trigger in the sticks again to move yourself. She loves, she loves it, aren't Careful. <laughs> and then we can easily hide the character mesh as well, if it's in the way. So, oh, okay. Yeah. But... So you get to look in the list. So this is... Uh, well, I won't do that. Oh, the edge. Well, I'm that familiar with the art to experience it. Because when she dashes forward. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be a bit. A little bit. Oh, shit. <laughs> it feels like a light gun game, actually, when you play this one in first person. Yeah, because you've got, like, the cursor. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you get in a room with a bunch of enemies. Oh, phone mode, that deep pad again. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and we did this the day it came out, by the way. The on Steam. We were like. I can't believe I can't believe This is like been with my fantasy for ages to come to PSVR, right? Yeah, yeah. And it feels very, very good to play. Oh, once we get Sackboy going, it's crazy how Sony's not got that on PSVR, too. Because they did what, that robot one. Amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's collecting dust for me. Yeah. Yeah, same. So what are you doing? I mean, Resident Evil 4 VR. Could it be? Would help a lot of people. <laughs> well, we've got the Prey Dog one. Yeah, exactly. Holding that back. I still disagree with being a friend, there are no games. No, there are plenty of games. You've already played one of Exactly. That's the thing. That's the trouble. Oh, shit. I'm dead, but that's fine. Should we try another thing? Do you yeah. want to try Little Nightmares, Rachel? I know you're looking forward to that. Um, it's no, no, it's all right. These guys have been doing like, these guys have been doing yeah. VR forever. That was. We've got 80 games. We've got a lot to a clock. That's so good. So this gun's here. On, well, it's over there on the side of her face. Okay, so that's freed off at the moment. So what I'm going to do. Advanced settings. I'm going to go to your object hook. I see this is the overlapper. Um, oh, wait, wait. Let's just do it this way. Uh, first person gun, skeletal mesh. Attach right. Adjust. You see this? Attach it over. So. Yeah, let's save that. <laughs> uh, actually, and this this button here, permanent change, just um, makes it not. Just it. Okay. All right, first person, let's go. Oh, this weapon's shit. Thank you. 